Yo, what's going on guys? So today we're gonna be talking about Miles Teller. Why the fuck am I talking about Miles Teller? So listen, this is a, you know, this is not a new film, okay? Why am I mentioning him? Well, I'm mentioning him because of the fact that he claims 6% body fat in this fucking film. I wasn't eating any bread, I didn't I didn't have a drink. There's a big part of me that was like, I don't even know if I can get in that kind of shape. I really don't know I can get to a 6% body fat. That's like a crazy number. God, just help me because I'm gonna get on his ass. I'm so sorry. Miles Teller acted in a film called Bleed for This, which is a film based on a true story by the man named Vinny Paz. Uh, he was a professional boxer back in the day and basically, so basically what happened to Vinny Paz was basically he was, you know, he was a boxer, a professional boxer. He got into a lot of boxing matches and uh, one day he just got in a fucking severe car accident and, you know, almost got him just paralyzed for life uh, basically what happened was he had to wear this like ring around his head which was you know screwed into his skull I believe I'm not too sure on how that whole method works but basically the whole method behind it was it was supposed to straighten his spine out for six months so he can heal to hopefully walk again because of the fact that he had suffered a severe neck injury and really fucked up his spine you know what I'm saying listen the doctor said and this is based on a true story doctor said that he was never gonna box again Never gonna box again, right? So you can just forget about all of that. But Vinny said, no, Doc, I'm gonna box again. What this guy did was extremely inspirational and, and just so motivational. So basically, like, days or, or I don't know how long it was, weeks after he got that, you know, screwed into his skull, right, to straighten his spine, you know, he had a basement downstairs. He started working out, you know, even if it was a little way, he just started, you know, trying to feel it. And, you know, get himself back into momentum. And, you know, it, listen, it was extremely fucking dangerous because of the fact that any little, like, movement or hit or, or fall can just paralyze him permanently. You know what I'm saying? He had a really bad neck injury. So that's why doctors said that he was never going to box again. But he proved them wrong. He fucking healed. He started working out. He started training. And, you know, he went and tried to win for the fucking titles, right? For boxing. And, you know, that's what he tried to do. So that's what the movie's based off. I'm going to be talking about Miles Teller because he was enacting as Vinny Paz in the movie. Now, these guys have different heights and weights. Uh, it's extremely different. You see, the thing is, is Vinny Paz was 5'7", right? Miles Teller's six foot. But here's the thing. Miles Teller claims that he was 6% body fat in the movie Bleed for this. Now, if you look at the films that Miles Teller is in, you know, you'll see that He's not an extremely fit guy, you know, he doesn't really work out too much, he just has an average Joe body, you know what I'm saying? He's not obese, he's not anorexic, he's just normal looking, you know what I'm saying? There's some movies where he's a little bit slimmer than others, there's some where, you know, he's a little bit more chubby, but not to the extreme, so he's just a, you know, average looking guy, but for this film in particular, he tried to build as much muscle as he could, as well as lean down, so this is what I think they did. So. Vinny Paz was 5'7", as I said earlier, and because of that, he was, he had a good amount of muscle, you know, he wasn't fucking steroid big, right, I don't think he was uh, enhanced in any manner, right, but he was short, right, so because of that, the muscle and, you know, the size he was packing on his frame was a lot more easier than, you know, my boy Miles over here who's fucking six foot, so he was a little bit more built than Miles Teller, as well as the fact that he had a little bit more body fat than Miles Teller. You see, I think what they did here, the directors, I feel like maybe they had him on a diet or a specific training regimen so he could gain a little bit of muscle and just lean down to look bigger, have the appearance of looking bigger, right? The illusion. Before the film, Miles Teller was six foot at 174 pounds, which is really fucking funny because of the fact that if you read articles, especially ones I'm about to pop up right now, it, you know, it says that he cut down to 164, but then you see and, and listen to, uh, you know, films or interviews of his, he starts saying how, oh, I cut down 20 pounds, but 174 to about 164, 163, around that weight he cut down at, he didn't cut 20 pounds, you know what I'm saying? Let alone fucking weighing and, and being 6% body fat. You see, it's really funny because I'm about to pop up a clip right now of him, uh, well, basically being interviewed and just, just listen to what the fuck he says because it's pretty funny. You literally transformed yourself into Vinny Paz. Yeah. And I saw an interview you did the other day. You said that you went from funny friend body to 2% yeah, sure. body fat. 6%. 6% yeah, body 2 fat. 2% you're probably dead. <laughs> so as you could see, literally the, you know, the lady kind of misinterpreted, you know, him saying that he was 2% body fat. 
But you see, Miles Teller is not a fucking ding dong. He actually knows that no one can get to 2% body fat because you'll pretty much fucking die. He has that common knowledge. But he thinks he was 6% body fat. So I don't know if he was just trying to uh, sound a little bit more, you know, fancy with his words here and, you know, trying to make it more impressive than what it is. Because let me be honest, guys. We all know how these fucking actors are. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I only eat rice, chicken, and fucking broccoli, bro. Get the fuck out of here. You did a lot more than that. You know, you have a lot of these actors that they don't only tell you the full truth. Like, you know, people like Chris Hemsworth. You really think this motherfucker was natural in his films of Thor, bro? Especially that new film I like, supposedly he was gonna make, uh, trying to be Hulk Hogan? You really think this motherfucker was gonna be natural? Like, let's be honest here. Now, as far as, you know, natty or not, do I think Miles Teller is fucking natty or not? Well, I think he's fucking natty. I mean, he's not packed on a lot of size. As a matter of fact, any natural, right? Uh, and it seems like this is his first time really lifting, you know what I'm saying? Really trying to get in shape, really trying to get, you know, cut and, and trying to build muscle. So, you know, for the first couple of months, I feel like that's pretty obtainable naturally, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so I don't really think it's out of the ordinary. Now, he's not fucking 6% body fat. I can promise you that. I'd say maybe, maybe he was 9, 10% body fat. I don't think that he was fucking 6% body fat because if you look at his physique in the film of Bleed for This, you don't see insane chest or shoulder striations. You don't see this motherfucker like, you don't, you just, listen, as, as far as the fact that he doesn't even have a lot of muscle on his frame, even though he doesn't have a lot of muscle, if you're lean as fuck, especially in the ranges of 6%, you're going to have a lot of details on your physique, okay, shown. You're going to have a lot of striations, you know, you're going to have a lot of that. So there's no fucking way, there's no fucking way that he was 6%. So you could just call that shit bullshit because that, I need to take a breather. He said that he didn't eat no sugar and, and no bread, shit like that. I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, it's not the bread that's the problem. It's the kind of bread that you choose. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's my opinion. You know, it's calories in versus calories out. Yeah, you're right. But, I mean, you gotta, you know, pick maybe smarter choices, you know? Not the white bread, but the whole wheat bread. Like, come on, motherfucker. It's all about choices, man. Fuck. Now, guys, Bleed for This was not a, you know new movie it's not a 2020 movie or film it's a movie that came out in 2016 but nobody has brought this up you know what i'm saying no one has brought the fact that this guy claims six percent body fat no one in the fitness industry especially that you know talks about shit like this has brought this up i don't think they've seen it so i'm just bringing it up and i'm bringing it to light because it's you know bullshit you know i'm just calling it out you know what i'm saying maybe he was misinformed maybe uh the trainers or or whoever coached him and or his personal trainers whoever it was that you know, helped him build his physique or, you know, kind of informed him on what he had to do and shit and how to do it. Maybe they just fucking lied to him. Maybe he took a, a DEXA scan or, or these bullshit ass tests that don't fucking work. We should know this by now, bro. Does anyone watch Corrective Set? Are you fucking kidding? All right, I spit all over my camera. I have to stop. I have to stop with this bipolar -ness. So as Miles Teller said himself and as the people who were, you know, leading on with this movie, they basically said, like, listen, like, you're playing a boxer's life. This is based on a true story. You're going to have to train like a boxer and fight like a boxer. As a matter of fact, I was reading some articles on this and it actually says that the people he was going against that was fighting in the film were actually real boxers, right? So as much as, you know, because they didn't want to do it as play fighting to look like, oh, you know, you could kind of tell he didn't really, you know, go fully to the face and or clock him in the jaw. You know, they actually wanted some real footage. Now, obviously, no shit, they don't want to fucking hurt people on purpose if they can avoid it, but some punches were, you know, they were taken. They wanted it as real as they possibly could, so, uh, you know, Miles Teller said in one of the articles, basically, they quoted him saying, like, oh, listen, like, I had to train like a boxer, so I had to fight like one, you know what I'm saying? So, there were some punches where I had to take. When it was my time, I could fucking <laughs> throw some punches as well, but... They weren't as real as it could be and as fucking raw, so they did what they had to do. So they hired some real professional boxers in the film, and, well, it's funny because I think Miles was pretty much one of the only ones in that film was that was not really a real boxer. But it doesn't matter because you could really act like he was a professional boxer because, you know, that's, that's how movies work, man. You act, man. You fucking act. Look at his physique before the filming. 
of bleed for this. Now, if I look at a body fat, right, if I, if I look at his physique and I look at it through a body fat percentage, right, guess, right, if I were to, uh, you know, guess, oh, what is his body fat percentage, easily, I'm gonna probably, I don't know, I'd say uh, maybe 17% of stand the safe side. Listen, he's not obese, like I said earlier, but he's not fucking shredded. So it made no sense to me because he originally weighed out like 174 pounds. So how the fuck... He weighed 174 and just dropped to 168, which is what says right here where I'm about to pop it up right now. It says, I was weighing in at a lean 168 pounds and only 6% body fat. You see, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Now, I mean, easily, you know, you look up Miles Teller's diet for bleed for this. There's going to be, you know, a whole article and it's going to be by Men's Journal or some shit like that. And basically they go in and they... You know, talk about it. So let me just state that currently he is 33 years old, but in the time of this filming, in the making of this film, he was 29 years old. So he's not an old guru, right? He's not an old motherfucker. So, you know, he could, you know, relatively put on some size in a reasonable manner and time frame. So it's not like, oh my God, it had to be geared. He had to be taking tests because he wasn't that big. You know, if you look at his size, guys, that's achievable. That's literally achievable with a decent diet. You know, good sleep, good training, or, or you know, even half-ass training. You get newbies and you put them into the gym, literally just tell them to fucking play around with weights, you know, curl a couple of shits, do what you gotta do, squat like 10 reps if you wanna fuck around. They're gonna grow muscle like that. So in, you know, the article, it asked uh, Miles Teller, how strict did you keep your diet? And Miles Teller himself said, I didn't have cheat meals. I found it easier to stay away from anything like that than to be tempted. I wasn't drinking alcohol either for about eight months. So, you know, obviously he's trying to avoid shit like, you know, alcohol, you know, easy calories, easy shit that'll just make you gain weight fast. It's it's all about balancing yourself, keeping every, everything to a minimum. You know, too much of anything is bad, even exercise, you know? Uh, you know, you do too much of anything, it's, it's harmful to you. So, funny enough, I started really to crave greens. He started to crave greens. Do you guys fucking believe that? I'm sorry. I don't know who the fuck craves greens, but... <laughs> Whatever, anyways, you can accomplish a lot just by avoiding overeating during meals, and guess what? You don't need bread. <laughs> Why the fuck does he keep talking about bread? I will say there was one day that I saw a Jolly Rancher and had an inner battle. I mean, that's 15 calories, a few grams of sugar, but he didn't need it. So basically, in that paragraph alone, he's just saying, like, listen, like, there's, like, little things you can do. Uh, that can really make it a big thing, right? So he goes on to talk about like, you know, you cut off these little things like sugar or, or the bread or, or candy, uh, beer, shit like that. And, you know, those calories add up. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's right. You know, calories do add up. And, you know, the more calories you consume, well, if you're not fucking burning them, you're going to gain them. You're going to store fat. And that's, that's just what it is. So... You know, he is right about that. I just think he's a little bit too fucking much on the bread. I don't know what bread is so for, like, evil for him, but... Okay, we get it. Bread is bad. We get it. We get it. If you don't like bread, don't eat fucking bread, bro. I feel like when it comes to the film industry, when it comes to, uh, you know, making these movies, I feel like they exaggerate, right? They make... They make shit more serious than what it is, you know? Uh, like that time where Bradley Cooper claimed to gain 40 pounds of muscle or some shit like that in 12 weeks? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Like, you can't even gain that in a year if you were fucking blasting gear. So it just, it boggles my mind, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm just here to call the bullshit out because, guys... There's no way in hell that he gained 6% body fat in under these couple of months that he was in, right? Just by cutting and eliminating off some of the very factors that he claims that gained him that way and, you know, kept him basically to that physique he was always at, right? That, you know, somewhat average Joe looking physique. So him just saying, and guys, let me get this straight, you know. I do believe him when he says that all he really did was, you know, he trained, he trained pretty hard, he, you know, cut down alcohol, he, he didn't drink, he fucking cut down, you know, shit, random shit like candy or, you know, bread, anything that adds up calories, that's just a waste, you know? Just like most people say, out of sight, out of mind, bro. So yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, it's your boy Crew Aesthetics, it's Kevin from Crew Aesthetics, we're at 3,000 subscribers already, let's aim for 4K pretty soon. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video about Miles Teller. If you guys did, like this video, comment, and subscribe because it really helps this video out. And you know, the more likes I get, the more this video gets pushed out to others, the more people can watch it. Without further ado, it's your boy Crew Aesthetics, and we're out. Boom. Oh,
crazy 